Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So in this episode, we're going to uh, go a little bit further with our game project and move on from uh, objects and obstacles that we have to avoid and uh, move on to some enemies with some AI uh, to some extent. Not really real AI in this episode, but um, later on we might add some movements and, and things like that. So uh, first off, we need to go to our uh, media library and add an enemy. So we'll hit the plus sign here. And I'm going to use, uh, as we've been using, Kenny.nl's um, Space Shooter Redux project, uh, which has some great uh, 2D sprites in it. And we Space Shooter Redux PNG folder. We have our enemies folder, and since our character is green, we'll choose a red enemy. Why not? Now, to get the sizing right, we will drag our enemy into the game, which will create an actor. We'll click on it and delete it from the game. We'll go to our actors, and we will find that and name that enemy 1. Now, this actor is going to be too big uh, by default, so we want to resize this. So let's delete that. Go back to our enemy and then go to our actor right here change his size to about half of this so like maybe 46 and 42 and now our enemy should be a lot smaller which is a good manageable size so let's delete that out of the game again um, so we, we don't want enemies to come out in this level. We want to reach this little star. And if we remember, um, when we collide with that star, uh, let's find these. When we collide with the star, what do we do? We move to the next scene. So let's create a next scene. We hit the plus sign over here in scenes. And we'll call this level 2. And um, or actually, let's delete that. And let's do control C for copy and control V for paste. And let's call this level two. That way, in our level two scene, our player and our background's already there. All we have to do is erase these obstacles. And we'll erase the star too, because instead of being um, like so that you could reach the star to win, I want it to be how long you could survive in the level. So uh, for this level, I don't think I want you to be able to wrap the X axis. And I think we can go over here and create a new actor. And this actor we're going to call enemy spawner one right because we might have multiple enemy spawners some are easier than others and let's drag this over here let's put it into the game somewhere easy to remember so uh, let's just put this way up here and now uh, we don't want this visible so we're going to go into the actor uh, enemy spawner we're going to go to actor we're going to go to color and we're going to make it transparent by changing its alpha to zero from one to zero um, and then it disappeared so now in our enemy spawner we are going to create a timer and that timer will be every two seconds so this is every two seconds um, we can do something we can spawn an actor now uh, the the actor that we want to spawn is our enemy and we want to spawn the actor uh, in front of in front of our enemy spawner that's fine um, from the position, uh, we want it relative to the scene. That's important, very important. And uh, we'll open our expression editor. So for the X axis, which is horizontal, it's this first one. Um, if you ever forget which comes first, it's up here. So X, Y, right? So uh, we want to do a random range because we want our enemy to pop up in a random position from the left side of the screen, which is zero, to the right side of the screen, which is however wide the room is, right? So we'll go to our functions and we'll look for random. And we'll double click on random. And now we have our minimum number, which is zero. We know that. And our maximum number, which is however wide our room width is. And we can actually find that out by going to attributes, game, display size, width. 
And now it'll say a random number between zero and however wide our screen is, which is perfect. Um, so let's hit the check mark and that's done. Now for the Y axis, it's a little bit more complicated because we're starting off here and um, we want to find out how tall the screen is and add 10 or, you know, have it show up above the screen. So let's go ahead and go to our scene, our level two, and let's go to our scene attributes and check how tall this scene is. So it's a height of 1500. So um, in order to make it show up above that, we need to give it a higher number than 1500. So what I'm gonna give it here is in our expression editor, I'm gonna type 1600. So it's 100 pixels above the top. Now, uh, this is gonna create uh, enemies above the top of the screen, but they're not gonna do anything. So um, if we look at our player, uh, when we move, we move at 300, at a speed of 300. So um, we want our enemies to move a little bit slower than that. So we'll go to our enemy one, and then we'll move to our behaviors. And we're going to look for the move behavior. So we'll drag the move behavior over here. And we'll put it at a direction of 270, which is down. We can verify that using our scroll wheel here. And then um, we're going to move at a speed of 150. Now, the this should make sure that the enemy moves at a downward speed and um, is spawned every two seconds. We haven't created a timer yet or anything to win the game, but we can do that in a second. So let's hit play. And oh, we don't want to have to beat the game before we do this. Actually, we could test it. Let's go ahead and beat it, move to the next level, and then I'll show you a trick on how to make it a little bit faster. Um, so we got there, and now we're at the next level. So let's see if it worked. So we're fine. There's an enemy. There's one, and it's moving at 150. There's another one, and they're showing up at random positions from the left and right side. So that's perfect. That's exactly how we want it to be. We can't currently collide with them, but we can. Uh, we have a random enemy spawner. So that's perfect. In the next episode, we'll work on making them, um, giving them HP so that we can damage them, uh, maybe their own destruction uh, method, as well as a timer to push us to the next level, as well as a way to damage the player. So I hope this uh, video helped, and I hope you're enjoying the series. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Peace.